Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mix tutorials. Um, I'm going to keep going on cast receipts. Uh, in the previous video, we kind of showed how to apply a cast receipt on the uh, uh, customer ledger entry. But now I'm actually going to take a look at how we can get a cast receipt into the system. Um, so I'm logged in here as the accounting manager, and this might be a little confusing with NAV, and it's just boils to the fact that inside NAV, we can do things sometimes in multiple ways. Uh, and it's up to the comfort level of the user what they pick. To actually post something or posting a cast receipt in NAV, there are several ways. The most direct ways are using the cast receipt journal. So you can see here I have edit cast receipt journal or a deposit. Um, so in this video, I'm going to actually focus on the cast receipt journal. Just do one and show you how that works. So if I click on the cast receipt journal, I get into a journal like form, just a simple journal like uh, you've used for any other transactions. And in here, I can actually just go in and say, uh, this is a payment. Uh, we are getting paid from a customer. I am going to pick the Canon group. Uh, so here. And so just payment of invoice. Let's say it's a check. Um, so we have to uh, put in a negative. So they're paying 10,000 because that's going to reduce the actually 10,000. It's going to reduce the, uh, the asset we have with the customer and increase the asset uh, or the credit customer debit account, uh, bank account. So the balancing account here is automatically set up to be bank account. That comes from actually the, uh, the general journal batch. Uh, back. So here we can set up that the balancing account is bank account always, uh, etc. So every single line that I'm actually typing in here will automatically populate with that. And you set up which bank account. So you can have the batch for a certain bank account. So all the cash receipts that are coming in for that batch are going to go for that bank account. Okay. So here we have that. Now, this is just one check. Um, what's important is that you want to add a column in here. It's not standard uh, setup, which is called external document number. I'm just going to quickly throw that in here and it'll pop up. So here, you, what you can do is actually put the reference number. And I like to put the check number here. You can say this is check number uh, 561. All right. Now, when you apply this payment to a transaction, there's, there are two ways to do that. <laughs> there's always multiple ways, right? If this goes straight to one invoice, I can then just go here, applies the document type uh, and pick invoice, and then just look up the open invoices or the open transactions uh, for the customer. So that we saw last time. And you can see it's a similar application form as we had previously in previous video. But in this case, it's a little bit complicated. I'm actually going to split the application 50 50 between two invoices. So let's do the more complicated one. So I actually take this out and I go up here. So if I need to do multiple ones, I go into apply entries. I get a similar screen, except now I have applies to ID on the side. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and set the applies to ID here. And it does put in the document number for the transaction. So that's how it identifies the application. It does that automatically as I click that set to applies. And here I have, um, let's see, amount to apply. And it takes the entire invoice. I'm actually going to change that to 5,000, like so. And then if I go to the next one here, set applies to ID, and I'm going to set that to 5,000 as well. 
my god all right so you have other things in here of course uh payment discounts if you pay in time you can see how payment discount is possible or not possible and that's almost a subject for a different video but that comes in the application so if you have payment discount on something um it makes it makes a difference when you apply this because you have to get it in for the date of the payment discount so here for example we're not getting a payment discount because the payment discount date is uh the 8th and we are actually um, putting this in well let's see on the 18th actually we do get a payment discount here uh, but we might have to have a complete payment which we don't have in any case that's a separate video so we'll leave that for that now i've actually applied this and i can just go ahead and post uh, post the journal lines and now it's gone so if i actually go back here into customers and take a look at the uh, canon group so ledger entries i can see that um, this payment came in of ten thousand, and it's been applied to the uh, uh, to the other invoices that have reduced that. So you can actually see that the 52,000 over here is now 47,000 and the 97,000, 92,000. Another way to, you can see that also is over here, you see applied entries. If I click on that, I can see which entries we applied it to. Um, and there is also a link up here for that. So, uh, that was the cash receipt journal. That was one way of actually receiving uh, receipts or cash receipts. Uh, we'll jump into deposits next time to just give you a comparison.